What is up YouTube, HPJ here, and today I have another deck profile for you guys. This time it's time to upgrade Lugamon, because we uh, have a lot of new stuff for Lugamon. From BT17, yes, that's right, The Secret Crisis. And I want to update Lugamon, of course, because many of you probably want to see an updated version of this deck. Now, just before I go any further, I do want to make it very clear. No, I do not have any of the cards that are permitted for Lugamon with, um, what is it? K Kazuchimon in the Takazu the Tekezuchi, um, L Fenrir Lugamon Fusion card thingy? No, yeah, no. Um, I decided to not do that. Look, my deck already has enough space that is well needed for other cards. I did not want to focus on a whole entire different strategy where I like the strategy that I have, which is just basically getting to Fenrir Lugamon as soon as possible, buff him up, play other Digimon, pop things on the field, and then swing for game. Which is perfectly fine. And the newer cards that were added to the lineup between BT16 and 17 definitely helped this change tremendously. So that's pretty much what my version is. So if you're looking for the new deck that's featuring the newer cards, I suggest going to find another channel for that. So with that in tow, while we go ahead and we take a look at what I'm building uh, with this lineup. So starting off are my Digitama. I'm running the four copies of Balmon from BT14. All right, then from there, we go on into the level threes. I'm running four copies of Lugamon for BT14 with four copies of Lugarmon, I mean Lugamon from BT15 and two copies of Fascomon from, BT, from ST14. All right, moving on from there, we're now gonna go into the level fours. I'm running four copies of Tyranomon from BT15 with two copies of Lugarmon from BT15 and then four copies of Lugarmon from BT14. So that is it for my level fours. Then going into my level fives, I'm running two copies of How Lugamon from BT14 Two copies of Soul Lugamon from BT14, two copies of How Lugamon from BT15, and then, oh, it's BT16, and then the two copies of Soul Lugamon from BT16. So that rounds out all of my digi, uh, my level four, no, level five, so I say level four. No, those are my level five. Now for my level sixes, there are two copies of Fenrir Lugamon from BT17, and then two copies of BT14s. Fenrir Lugamon. So that is it for the Digimon. Then going into the Tamers. Uh, I am running the four copies of Cold Cracker Fang, which of course is uh, always treated, no, which as you check that its name is also treated as AG. Then we have four copies of AG himself. So Cold Cracker from BT17 and AG from BT14. Alright, moving on from there, we go into the option cards. I'm running the four copies of the promo card Wisdom Training. Then I'm running three copies of BT16, uh, the Demon Wolf Castle of Nine Wolves. Then from there, I'm running three copies of Crimson Blaze. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the lineup of things here. Now, let's go ahead and go through it. So, for my Digitama, I'm running the four copies of Balmain. Once a turn, when one of your Digimon... During your turn, when one of your Digimon with Digimon... I mean, when a Dark Animal or Sons of Chaos traded card is trashed from your hand, you may Digivolve this Digimon into that card. This is basically here to help you speed up the climb into your Digimon, because every card in this deck has some way or form of discarding cards to Digimon to send cards to trash by and then be able to digivolve into them is what the strategy is for Fenrir Lugamon. There are like multiple strategies into this 
this theme as well that revolves around the dark animal or being sons of chaos, which works very really, really well because you can mash a lot of those cards together. Um, while I'm just sticking to Fenrir Lugamon on its own, Balmon does ha take advantage of the ability of discarding things to then put more things onto the, s the stack and then be able to pull cards from the trash and put them onto the field as well. So then from there, I have all my other cards. So let's go into the main deck itself with the four copies of Lugamon from BT14. This card is definitely able to help you just get to AG as soon as possible. Whether AG is in the trash or in your hand, it will put AG into its evolution source and then able to gain one memory. It's inheritable is that you're able to uh, when you play a Dark Animal or Sons of Chaos Traded Digimon, you gain one memory. This helps you with the memory choking that this deck is known for, especially with its ultimates and its megas. So, this is part of the reason why it has such a suitable setup for itself. And it's probably, and basically is one of the most expensive rookies from that set next to Padawan. Now, moving on from there, we have Lugamon from BT15. Now, this Lug Lugamon can, uh, when attacking, you can trash one card from your hand to then delete an opponent's Digimon with 3k DP or less. While you have a Tamer with Sons of Chaos in its trait in its Digivolution Source, you're able to draw one card. So, a bit of draw power, but you have to have the Tamer under it in order to draw the card. In addition to that, you're able to delete a Digimon whose DP is 3k or less, so that helps you get rid of flight gates or problematic cards at the start. Now, on top of that, you do require to have um, the, the Tamer with the Sons of Chaos trait in your Digivolution Source, but that's pretty much fine because you'll be able to do such with this deck. Um, the other ability is, of course, something that is unique to most of the dual color of the evolution line for Lugamon, where if your opponent has a memory or more, you're able to gain one memory. So, you're able to slow down progress for them as well as give them too little to nothing in terms of usage for um, memory. Unless they have a memory jump, a memory starter. I mean, a memory tamer. Then, we have Vascomon who joins us. And I know some people are saying, why not Ukamon? Well, at the time of this recording, we just received the list for the deck. and. I mean, the um, new band restriction list, which I will post the video very soon. And the thing about Fascomon that I love and hate about Fascomon is that I love this Digimon more than I hate it. Because it's really just a blocker. That's literally it. But it's a blocker that has so much utility in the deck because cards can pick up Fascomon with ease. Fascomon doesn't really have to do much except for block things and then move on its merry way. So, that is it for basically my rookies. My level 3s. We're going to now move into my level 4s. Where my level 4s don't seem too much. But it just definitely wants to focus on just Lugarmon or Sons of Chaos. So I have the 4 copies of Lugarmon from BT15. With the 2 copies of Lugarmon from BT15. And then the two, the 4 copies of the Tyranomon. Tyranomon is basically here to play 2 options. Um, get your deck in order so you can get to your cards as soon as possible. Then on top of that, being a blocker so you can block things out. As well, it's an easy target for most of your Digimon who bring out other Digimon, uh, especially when they are able to add more to the level thanks to AG being in their Digivolution sources. With that in tow, Lugarmon, when attacking or when Digivolving, can trash a card from your hand. Um, yeah, trash a card from your hand to then give itself plus 2k DP. Now, while a Sons of Chaos traded Tamer is in its Digivolution Source, you're able to draw a card. While the common trope of the when your opponent, at the end of the attack of your opponent, has one memory or more, you can gain one memory to memory choke your opponent, but also have some setup for the trash as well. Thanks to a lot of the abilities of discarding to the trash. This little girl on. Well, I mean, I seen too much of a problem with thing. It's the setup card. That's literally all it is for. And it, it helps you just bring those cards to the board to then get rid of them next turn and then benefit from them as well. Well, Lugarmon from BT14 is quite different. When attacking, you can trash one card from your hand to then draw the card. But if AG is on the field in your digital then you gain one memory. While it's inheritable is the gain of memory if a... Um, was it Dark Animal or Sons of Chaos traded card is played? 
So, yeah, definitely big benefits from both of them with their abilities to discard, um, their abilities to correct the hand through drawing after discarding, and just being able to set up with the chains and abilities that follow after, especially with Balmont's ability to digivolve them. Now, 422, no, 423. Oh, no, 424, I'm sorry. It's a 423. No, 424. Now, moving on from these guys, we now go into the level. Five, the ultimate. Now, while searching for a combination that I wanted to run because I wanted to make sure that everything was sufficient, I kind of just went ahead and went on for the 2-2-2 two, two, two for each one. Because each of them, while unique, have their own abilities that do help this deck out. Now, neither of the Halugamons have any actual inheritables figures. But, their Soul Lugamon counterparts definitely do. Now, for Hal Lugamon here on the right end, this is the one that's from BT-16. Uh, it has retaliation, so when it dies, it takes whatever it's killed it in battle. The second is that at the end of your turn by deleting this Digimon, you're then able to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. That helps out with nasty blockers and a lot of the low-level rookies that do the, the anti-meta the anti -meta setup for for their deck. And then also being able to just give it in problematic situations as well. But the best part about this card is that on deletion, it's able to play a Lugamon or an AG from your trash without paying the memory cost. So if you have the Lugamon and you need it bad, this wins it back. As well as setting up AG for the following turns. And remember, uh, Code Cracker Fang is also treated as AG, so you can easily get your memory set up as soon as possible. Now, in addition to that, and hold on, I'm going to move these cards over so everybody is in view, is the Lugarmon from BC-16. This Lugarmon has the ability to digivolve. When digivolving, you're able to trash two cards from your hand to so delete an opponent's Digimon with the KDP or less. This effect um, does delete a Digimon you may play a level for a lower Sons of Chaos trade Digimon. From your cash out, pay the root cost. See how effective things can be, especially when you're playing stuff like Ascomon or playing Tyranomon to back you up. And it gets easily able to swarm things on through the board without having issues, especially those that are already in your trash because of the discarding. In addition to that, during all turns, if one of your Sons of Chaos Digimon um, is deleted, a lot of Digimon has a Son of Chaos Tamer in its digivolution source. You're able to digivolve it into Fenrir Lugamon from your trash without paying the memory cost, which speeds up the process of it becoming Fenrir Lugamon as soon as possible. Well, it's a terrible, of course. Gives you DP. I mean, gives you a memory if your opponent has um, more than one memory after you've attacked. Just simple, basic stuff. Now let's go on to the two of the classics, the Hal Lugamon and Fenrir, Hal Lugamon and Soul Lugamon from BT14. Luke Lugarm Kalugarmon, simple. Delete itself, draw two cards, return the uh, Lugamon from your trash to your hand. On deletion, trash up the three cards from your hand to with Dark Animal or Beast. I mean, so, uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> it's a chaos. Um, and then be able to delete an opponent's Digimon whose level is 3 or more, but for each one you trash with the effect, you can increase that level, which helps you clear out some more problematic situations there. While the Soul Lugamon, buddy boy to the middle, uh, is able to win you all being played the level 3 or lower Dark Animal or Sons of Chaos card from the trash. But if AG is attached to this Digimon, you're able to increase the level. So the level then goes to 4, and you can play these Digimon without paying the minimum cost. Uh, when attacking, you're able to trash one card from your hand to gain one memory. That's just even more set up for Balmon to then if you just fight the Finger or Lugamon, you're able to digivolve into it. And of course, able to play a Dark Animal or Sons of Chaos traded Digimon. Um, you're able to unsuspend this, which triggers off the abilities of the Fingerers, who we'll get into in just a moment. But yeah, I think the only issue that I've had with these is that I had to reduce each of them to two of each. So simply that way I can, you know, benefit from them being in play, having them set up, and even being able to access them. But ratios can always be changed if things just don't seem like they need to be. Alright, now I'm going to move on from these and go into my level 6s. So I do not have any level 7s, like I said before, I'm just sticking strictly to this being just Lugamon. Which is why I'm only playing 
the copies of Fenrir Lugamon, BT-17s and BT-14s. Both of these are amazing Digimon because they have basically unique abilities that help them benefit from AG. Now, when Digivolving, for the one for the right, uh, when AG is in this cartridge release source, you can play a Fenrir Lugamon or a Kazuchimon from your trash out in the memory cost, then at the end of your opponent's turn, you'll return a Digimon to the hand. Then, uh, on all turns, what's his turn? <laughs> when your Digimon Entertainment with the trait of Sons of Chaos or has Pulsemon in its text, uh, it's played, you're able to delete a Digimon uh, your opponent has with a with DP of 10k or less. So, wider range of removal while also being able to Digivolve into itself or into other things. Or, no, when Digivolving into itself, you're able to play your finger and Lugamons that you have in your trash without having to pay without having so many issues. Um, the other thing about this issue, of course, is its ability to then, uh, <laughs> continue on the turn even if the, until the turn marker moves three or more on your opponent's side, which is what we're getting to with this finger you look on to the left of us because that's its natural ability. In which this is where the memory choking situation comes into play because when your Digimon start when you start playing Digimon from your trash with the trait of the other Digimon, then it's easy and able to uh, help you not only gain that memory but also play other Digimon in the process. While this player Lugamon also has the ability of playing Digimon, excuse <laughs> they're level four or lower. And then if AG is in its digital edition source, you're able to increase the number from 1 to 2. And you don't get to pay any memory costs for them. So basically, you got your big beat sticks. They'll help you bring out Digimon or set up to bring out Digimon. And then just be able to swing in for things. Classic Lugamon setup with, you know, using newer setup and abilities from their newer cards. And I didn't want to run too many. So, alright, that is it for all the Digimon. Let's go into the Tamers. We have uh, Code Cracker Fang and we have AG, which basically both of these are AG because in the text for um, Code Cracker, if you see right there in the white box, it says ruling. This this card's name is also treated as AG. So, AGs, for the most part, will give the inheritables of Alliance and Blocker if the Digimon they're attached to has. Uh, dark animal or sense of chaos. What does this mean in retrospective? Well, if a Digimon of mine is slinging, I can suspend another one or hundred Digimon to then make that Digimon able to gain the DP and plus one security um, when it's attacking. Then, in addition to that, the blocker is not bad because he can also help you just defend things on your opponent's turn. While many of them, if I'm not mistaken, do have some abilities. <laughs> check over things it's perfectly fine but the biggest thing is you can make some of your smaller Digimon become big beat sticks or have them even stand in for blockers themselves the other thing to know is that both AGs have a way of gaining memory or setting up for the gaining memory cracker fag allows you to jump your memory uh, from 0 to 3 because it's your memory setter and then the other AG while your opponent has Digimon allows you to gain one memory so yeah, just simple standard stuff for your simple standard tamers, but definitely give you benefits of things because they're both, well, they're of aging. Alright, moving into there, we now have our option cards, and it's very simple. Wisdom Training, um, Demon Castle, and Crimson Blades. I can easily say this for Demon Castle, it's really just here to help flesh out things to get to AG, to get to your Sons of Chaos cards as soon as possible, or your Dark Animals, and then just being able to build up that lineup so then you can become the Digimon that you need and take things out. While the other is our Wisdom Training, which reduces the cost of a Digivolution by 2, but also allows us to look at cards and add them to our hand if we need be. So, you know, double reduction costs while setting up for things while also just being able to play around with them is great. And the Crimson Blaze, a very big staple that's been coming around lately, simply here because it is able to remove a lot of threats that are 6k or lower, and then also being able to force your opponent to not be able to play Digimon by an effect until the end of the next turn. 
of their next turn, which is great. Not to mention the fact that you can reduce the memory cost of this card by one for every Digimon your opponent has in play. So, great spot removal. Alright. Within the tub, that is every card that I have for my updated version of Fernier Lugamon and, um, what is it? Yeah, the, my Fernier Lugamon deck. Um, it's short, it's simple, it's fun. I'm having fun with it. Um, and I heard we're going to get some more support soon, so that's even better. But let me know um, how you guys feel about Lugamon at this current point, which I don't really think it's still, it's too bad, but if you have the stuff for Kazuchi, then definitely go ahead and play Kazuchi. Other than that, um, that's going to wrap it up for this deck profile. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps out tremendously. You can hit the notification bell to be informed of when I upload more content to my channel. My social media links are in the description box below, and of course, like the end of many of my videos, you'll see a playlist and recommended video, so you guys can check out more of my content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and HGJ signing out. Take care.